I have this tote of donated denim that I'm going to turn into a table topper. Hi everyone, my name is Christine. Thank you for joining me today. Here are a couple of templates my husband made using my standard 18 degree Dresden ruler. I will leave a link in the upper corner to two of my videos where I show you how to cut your fabric or make your own template. I will also leave a link to my playlist at the end of this video. Please follow along as I show you how I made my denim Daisy Dresden. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I did is I ironed the jeans after they were deconstructed. And by deconstructed, I mean taking a pair of scissors and going up the inseam and cutting back here so I can deal with as flat of a piece of fabric as possible. So here's my, my weights. I'm just going at it at an angle like that because getting through the seams and stuff of denim is it's pretty difficult. Okay. Always shut your blade. And there we go. Doesn't look like much now but just wait. Okay, here I have my Dresden blades cut out. Here's the wrong side of the fabric and the right side of the fabric. So I'm gonna make it to where when they're done, there's gonna be a point at the end. And so let's see, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I am folding it in half, folding it in half here, just making sure it's lined up. And I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way across here. Now I am going to backstitch when I start and stop. I'll start off here. Since I'm working with denim, you may want to make sure that you have a denim needle in. It just helps go through, especially these multiple layers of denim. Let's see. Cut this corner right here off. So I want to show you about the reason why I create this crease here. So I am lining the edges, the raw edges of the fabric up here. And since I'm over at the iron now, I'm going to go ahead and make a crease right here. What this does is it creates a center point for when I invert this blade here. So here, putting that in there, make a nice point there. And so see, right now you can see that crease right there. That is where I want to line this seam up with this crease here and make it as straight as possible that way my points won't be all wonky. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and give that a good press just to make sure it lays nice and flat. Okay, there's one of our blades. Okay, so I have my layout that I want, and I have stitched down the side. You normally use a quarter inch seam. This is bigger than a quarter of an inch. It's not quite a half, but I do it a little bit bigger when I'm sewing denim because with denim, I like to iron my seams open. So in quilting in general, I always iron either one side or the other. That way my seams can nest. But with denim, I definitely like to iron open. 
That way when I go to quilt it, it won't be as bulky. You'll press there and then flip it. And make sure that there's a nice, that there's no puckers or anything here. And so I'll sew these together two, by two, 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 two. Because there's a total of 20 blades. So I'll do that until they're all sewn together in pairs of two. And then I'll go back and I'll sew the two pairs together so that there will be sets of four. And then once I get to where there's eight, then I will have two remaining. So then I will do 10 on one side and 10 on the other. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that when I get to it. Alrighty, so here are my 20 blades and I now have them all sewn into sets of two. There are 20 blades all together sewn into sets of two. So now I am going to sew them into sets of four. And with that, there will be two sets of two remaining. Okay, so now I have my two sets of eight right here. I tell you what, this old card table with this felt cover on it works great because my pieces don't slide off. Anyway, okay, so now we have these two pieces left over. So I'm gonna put that there and that there. That way it makes 10 on each side. And so it'll make a semicircle and then we will sew the two semicircles together. Okie dokie. Now we have our two halves and now we will sew these together. A little tip, when I sew Dresdens, I always start up at the top here because this part down here is going to be covered by a circle. Hi, Mabel. I'm just gonna iron this nice and flat. See how it kind of gathers bubbles in the middle? But as I iron it, it'll start to flatten out a little bit. So this denim definitely gives me some grace with this middle part. Oh, it's so pretty. I first lay down an all cotton batting and then my backing fabric right side up and my Dresden right side down. I then pin all of the points. Okie dokie, I have stitched all the way around on the edges of each blade. And so now I'm gonna go through and trim just along the edges here. And then we will flip it. Alrighty, I forgot to show this and I forgot to do it. So, okay, so before I turn it right sides out, this point that I had stitched across, go ahead and cut those points off. You can also go in between here and do a little snip. It kind of makes it easier for when you 
pull it through, but you don't have to do that because sometimes it can make it a bit unstable, but definitely going through and trimming these points. That will help so we can get the points more pointy. Alrighty, I am just finishing up ironing this top. I've gotten all my points through and poked them out and I had to pull a lot here. It's just there's a, a lot of fiddling you got to do with it to really get these areas to lie flat. So I'm going to go through and finish ironing this up and then I'm just going to quilt it on my sewing machine and then add the center circle and it'll be done. I originally created the Daisy Dresden for my cousin to use as a tablecloth for her small round kitchen table. Some others have been used as centerpieces on larger round, square, or even rectangle tables. I've heard of suggestions of making this as a cute floor rug, turn it into a dog bed, and someone had an idea of turning this into an upcycled denim skirt, which I think would be totally cool. Let me know in the comments below any ideas that you have. I hope you have enjoyed my Denim Daisy Dresden tutorial. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.